Number one, I'm not sold on the looks. I think this car could be more aggressive. I think for a car that has over 320 brake horsepower, if it was me, I want people to know. I want people, when I pull up to a set of traffic lights, to look at me and think, wow, damn, that car can blow my socks off. Problem is, it just looks too, too common, too, it blends in too much. The wheel arches, I think it needs wider wheel arches, I think it needs more aggressive wheels. Um, yeah, that's, I would say, number one, it's just, I, I do like the way the front looks, but I'm not sold on the rear either. I think the rear's too boxy. It's too square. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the LED lights and yeah, quite like that. But I do think, design wise, I think they're going to push the boat out a bit more. Yeah, I just think it looks a bit too generic. Um, like, for example, I, uh, I pulled up to a set of traffic lights and just no one looks at you, no one. Even though this car is orange, you know, it's just like, it screams, look at me, I'm orange. But, it's just no one, I haven't really noticed anyone, you know, taking a second look or anything. Yesterday I pulled up ne right next to a white one, a white uh, one series. And I was looking, I was looking at both, do you know what? To a simpleton, to someone who doesn't like cars, it's, it's hard to actually tell the difference. You know, it's only the two twin exhausts at the back that give it away. And if you know, the wheels in this car are unique to this M1355, I believe. When I buy a car, I want it to look the part as well. But then if you're the type of person who wants to blend in and have a um, a sleeper, then maybe this is, yeah, this is your car. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love this car. But I do think it could be a bit more aggressive on the, on the look side. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, I'd say, in particular with this three-door hatchback, is the rear legroom. I don't think, I think, to be honest, if I bring a couple of friends along, I think they'll be a bit cramped, especially if you go on a long road trip. I do think after a few hours, they'll be a bit cramped back there. It is quite, it's really, really tight. Yeah, I do think, but then again, you could counter argue that and say, well, just get the five door version, which to be fair, you can. But in my opinion, the three door version looks better. It's just got the nicer lines. Uh, but yeah, I would say, but if you're gonna be by yourself most of the time, or you know, now and again, you take your mates uh, on a short trip away, then yeah, then fair enough. I mean, it's fine, but so far, yeah, the rear leg, rear leg room just looks, it's not too big. Um, doesn't look too spacious back there. So yeah, I'd say that's definitely one thing I, I'm not sure on in this car. I mean, I'm not the tallest of people. I've sat back there and I don't think, um, I think after a while it will be a bit cramped. So what I would say, there's only two things I'm not so sure on in this car. Number one, is the way it looks. And my only second gripe is the rear legroom. That's all I have to say, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, see you on the uh, next video, I hope.